Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about fast retailing, uh, ticker symbol FRCOY. So these are the three reasons why I like fast retailing. Number one, so their clothing fits really good and the quality is also really good. So uh, if you don't know uh, what uh, FRCOY is, they're the company that owns Uniqlo. Not just Uniqlo, but they also own other companies like uh, GU. I think that's pretty popular in Japan as well. But for me, I personally like them because of Uniqlo. Uh, yeah, so about the good fit and quality. For someone my size, I'm a, I'm like about 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five around there. About maybe 140 pounds. And like for me in, this, in the US at least, it's really hard to find clothing that fits well. So like if I would go to some store like like a general store like a I don't know like a Macy's or a Kohl's if I were to buy something like a t-shirt there or like a jacket there even though if it, if I do manage to find a small it, like the the sleeves they would have all they would like I would get the sleeve look at the sleeve and it would be like really baggy at the at the bottom and same with the like uh, the stomach area there's just all this. It's like extremely loose and baggy, and well, there was a time when that was the style, but now I prefer clothes that fit well. Like like this shirt, for example. This is what I got from Uniqlo, and for me, like it fits well. There's no, it's not like oversized or anything like that. And this is a medium, so yeah, it's that. It's like Uniqlo is maybe one of the very few stores that I can go to and find clothes that fit well. There's a few other ones too, but they. Just they don't fit as well as Uniqlo, and the quality isn't as great. So yeah, the, like their T-shirts I like a lot, and also there was this windbreaker that I got from them maybe about uh, I think it was about seven or eight years ago. I got that windbreaker, and it's still in like really good condition. I use it like not every day, but whenever I need it, and like most maybe like uh, half the year or three fourths of the year, I've been using that, and it's still in really good shape. So. Yeah, that's the reason number one, clothes fit good and the quality is good. Reason number two is evolution. So as you can hear, see here from their ad, Pokemon Go, that's kind of why I used evolution. Pokemon's evolve, companies evolve, so yeah. Uh, you know, like um, for example, Uniqlo, when I, uh, go, if I go back, uh, before they were just going into the clothing industry, like actual physical clothes, but now they're evolving evolving by expanding their marketplace to digital clothing. So for example, in the Pokemon Go game, I'm not sure if it's still available, but uh, this post was maybe a few months old, I think in the summer of two, 2020, you could buy uh, digital shirts for your character through the Pokemon Go website or the Pokemon Go game. And those uh, shirts were in collaboration with Uniqlo, or their UT brand, so. They're going from just selling only clothing to, and they, they're still doing the clothing to clothing and like digital clothing as well. So they can evolve and adapt their business, which is really good. It kind of reminds me of uh, Netflix, of how they went from doing only DVDs to streaming. Like they still do the DVDs too if they want, but now they do the streaming as well. So this, like the streaming in Netflix is kind of like the digital clothing in. Uniqlo or FRCOY. So yeah, that's reason number two. And next one, number three, uh, they're outperforming the S&P 500 by more than double over the past five years. So if you look at the chart here, the blue line is uh, FRCOY, the yellow line is the spider or the S&P 500. Uh, over the past five years, you can see that uh, uh, FRCOY is up 189.3%, while the spider is up 89.2%, and that is more than double uh, what the spider got over the past five years. So that's doing really well. As long as it's uh, beating the S&P 500 over a good period of time, I think it's always a good deal, deal to get it, a, a good um, reason to get it, because that's the goal. You know, you got to perform better than average. So yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, th these are the three reasons why I like the company. There are more, but I want to keep this video a little short, so I'm just limiting it to these three. 
And uh, next, just the links. So in the link below, if you uh, want to see where I got the info for the Pokemon Go and Uniqlo, you can click on that. So the, that link is for this right here. And also you can see the link to the Google Sheets doc. The Google Sheets doc is uh, what I use to keep it keep track of my YouTube portfolio for the year. So for this year, 2021, uh, my goal is to make uh, one stock purchase a day whenever the market is open, at least one. Sometimes I do more than one. But uh, yeah, that purchase is always at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, the goal is to outperform the S&P 500 or see if I can outperform the S&P 500. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.